This is London Real. Each species has a kind of collective memory, a bit like what Jung called the collective unconscious. If you train rats to learn a new trick in London, then rats all over the world will learn it quicker thereafter just because the rats have learned it here. So it's a theory of memory. I think the whole of nature has a kind of memory showing it wasn't going through the genes. Something much more mysterious was happening, which I think is morphic resonance. That's amazing. I'm still skeptic, but okay. <laughs> We've already figured out the way the world is. That's the science delusion. Mm. I don't think we have. I think, I think there's a huge amount we don't know. I first met Terence in 1982, and I was in San Francisco. My book, A New Science of Life, had just come out in California. A battered golden Cadillac drew up with sort of peeling tra tail fins, and the windows scrolled down, and there's this guy with curly hair and dark glasses who leant out of the window and said, Dr. Sheldrake, I presume. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the real question, Rupert. Did you drink ayahuasca with Terence McKenna? <laughs> no, I didn't actually. Um, I, I've done other things with Terence McKenna. but I, <laughs> What Terence was saying, basically, was that he said, you know, modern science is based on the principle of give us one free miracle and we'll explain the rest. And the one free miracle is the appearance of all the matter and energy and all the laws that govern it from nothing in a single instant. And <laughs> we thought that three-way conversations are much better than just two-way or four-way. We thought three-way is a really good way to go. So, I mean, one of the things I like about your show here is you've got this trialogue format, which... Um, I find a really good one. Wherever you are out there, Mr. Dawkins, we should have you on and have a debate between the two of you. We'll have it live and moderated by Nick and I. Wow. Well, I'm up for it. You have such a different view of things in India. There's hardly any sort of materialist, atheist types, but there's nobody who comes close to being as lively and as much fun as Terence. Wow. Welcome to London. You seem to be the reluctant cook on TV. I am, um, but saying that I'm doing Saturday Kitchen this week, um, but that's purely...